Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're taking a look at another Frame Arms girl from Kotobukiya here. This is the Gorai Kai version 2. So the Gorai Kai, I believe, was one of the first to come out in the Frame Arms girl line. If not the first, I don't remember still at the moment, but this one is the new version of that. So it has some new parts and some parts are the same, but a lot of this is new, including new versions of some of the weapons, new parts for around on the knees, the front of the legs, uh, the sides of the waist, has some new breastplate option parts as well, as well as some new parts for the front of the head. So we'll go over all of the different parts here for this, as always with a lot of these Megami device and Frame Arms Girls kits, you just have a lot of different option parts that you can utilize, which is always nice to have. I feel like uh, different Frame Arms kits, though, don't always come with a lot. The Megami device usually, those kits usually come with a lot of stuff. Frame Arms Girls, not often as much, but this one definitely does have a good amount of option parts in it though. Anyway, it's a really cool kit, and so as, as always, gotta say a huge thank you to USA Gundam Store for making this possible, guys. Despite the name, if you guys weren't aware, USA Gundam Store does sell plenty of kits that are not Gundam, so you can check out the link down below and check out all the Kurobukiya stuff they have there to offer. You can save 10% off all of that stuff as well using my coupon code ZAKORILIUS10, so check that out. Now let's go ahead and check out everything that we get included in the box with this kit. Right, so first thing is we have this nice sheet of water slide decals here. Pretty much just the ones here for the eyes, some ones, some brown stripes there for the panties, and then some different logos here. So not really a whole lot in terms of like caution markings, things like that. Basically just a few logos there. You have the Kai Kanji and the Gorai logo there, and then a couple just other little bits. And then for hand options, we have these open resting hands here. We also have a set of open expressive hands there, closed fists, holding hands, and holding hands with the trigger finger extended or trigger finger hands. Then we have the main weapon here, this cool bazooka sort of looking weapon here that's just held in the hand and also attached onto the side of the forearm with this part here. And then on the kit, we've already got the knife. So this is just the same thing like with the Gorai. So that can just be taken off and used as a handheld melee weapon as well. And then up over her shoulder here, this little howitzer, which is all the new part for this because it has just a little bit different feature on it. Up underneath there, the ball joint that this attaches with is on like a track so you can slide that to the left and right. I guess that's just to be able to let you to mount it onto the left or the right side a little bit easier. Where you do have the old one included here, as you can see, it's just a fixed connection like that. So this new one just gives you a little bit better articulation with that, I guess. And then as usual, we do have three different face options with this as well, all very nicely pre-painted on there. So you got this one, which is just kind of a, I don't know, just kind of a, a little bit of an expressionless face, really. And then you have this kind of either a winking or a wincing face. It kind of looks more like it's wincing than winking. And then you have the third one, which is just a slightly angry looking off to the right look there. And as I mentioned, we've got a bunch of different options for the breastplate. So this is the new breastplate for this, but you do have the original one included here, which is just a little bit different in its shape. Then we've got four different versions of this sort of like cloth shaped one. So here's one version, here's another one, and here's a third one, slightly larger. And then the fourth one, even larger still. So you've got some different options there. And as I mentioned, the knee armor is new for this, but you do have the original knee armor in here if you want to use that instead, or have one new and one old, or whatever you want to do with that. Anyway, you've got these extra parts in there as well. This part here for the, for the front of the head is also new, but you do have the original version of that if you wanted to use the original. I do kind of like the original a little bit more. Maybe it looks a little bit more, reminds me more of like the Echoist type Jagan head on that. But then you do also have another version of this here which has a mounting point there on it. If you wanted to attach some other part there onto the front of her head, you can use this part here for that. And you have a couple more optional mounting parts here. This will go here on the chest. So if you remove the breastplate there, you can replace this option part here and then you've got an adapter point to plug on some different parts onto there. Or the female version of that, you just plug that onto there and you can plug other parts onto that using that adapter piece. And you've got a handful of other leftover parts here, the original parts for the side of the waist, which are just slightly different now, the original parts for the side of the thigh, which are just slightly different, a black version of this part of the cannon, so if you prefer that in black, you do have that left over. And while I'm mentioning the thigh armor, it basically looks exactly the same, but the difference is that this one now also has a track in there for the ball joint for that, so you're able to actually slide this thigh armor up and down, which should help with the articulation and some certain poses if you need this to kind of move a little bit out of the way. You can slide that down on the leg a little bit like that, otherwise you can slide it back up 
to that station there. These parts here on the front of the leg are also new, but you can just remove those and then you could plug something else, you know, kind of whatever else you wanted onto the front of there. This is a re rectangular square peg, but you can plug, as you can see here, just anything with just a circular attachment point will also just be able to plug onto there just fine here on the back of the leg. These tread bits, I believe, are not new for this kit, I mean, as in, I don't think the parts are changed. I think they're exactly the same as the original. But since that's pretty much it for all the different option parts, let's talk a little bit about the articulation. So the head will go up plenty far to there, but they always look a little bit weird. Any time where you can, where you can see the necks of these, they just don't really look very good. The, the less you see of the neck, the better, because it just kind of looks a little bit awkward. So it's always best to try to kind of hide that as much as possible. You can point the head all the way down to there. And then here in the stomach section, you have some rotation and a little bit of bend forward and back here at the middle of the torso. This part here on the front for the chest plate uh, will also move up and down like that. The arms can come up to about there before you're kind of running into the head with the shoulder armor. You can sort of rotate that maybe a little bit out of the way, maybe not to get the arm up maybe a little bit higher, but obviously it's going to be looking pretty weird. You have an attachment point there on the side of the arm and then the side of the forearm there, so plenty of space to attach more parts onto this if you want. The single joint in the elbow is going to give you just a little bit more than 90 degrees, but that is pretty much it. The wrist joint is able to rotate and it does bend a little bit, but it's kind of like really tight fitting in there. So if you pull that out just a little bit, then you can get more bend in the wrist if you needed that for any specific pose. Back around to the backpack, I showed you that this is just on a ball joint that part there we can also choose to mount that onto either the left or the right side you have mounting points there like that back here on the back skirt if you remove the knife another mounting point there but if you wanted to plug something different onto that or you can just remove this whole part in general and you can plug something onto there just going over some more of the attachment points here here on the side of the leg and on the knee if you remove this part here on the front there you've got another place where you could plug something there onto the front of the knee if you wanted Skirt is broken up into seven separate parts, so you can kind of move that as you need to get that out of the way as much as you can for articulation in the legs. So the farthest you'll be able to get that separated out to the side is going to be to about there, not quite up to 90 degrees. And then forward as well, it's not even going to be getting close to 90 degrees. It's barely more than 45 degrees up, so it's not really going to be able to get a whole lot of forward movement out of that hip joint there either, unfortunately. But the knee bend is pretty all right. You have a double joint there. As long as you're kind of moving the parts out of the way, you can get a pretty full bend there in the knee. And then down here at the ankle, you're able to move the foot side to side, tiny as it is. And then a little bit forward and then very far backwards like that. No problems with that up underneath the feet. You can see what that looks like there. So overall, the impression that I get from this is kind of the same that I thought with the original Frame Arms Go Rai kit is that it's really kind of meant to be almost sort of like the grunt of the frame arms line and I feel this kind of as well with this one as it's as you can see it's meant to be very customizable it's got hard points uh, all over the place for mounting all sorts of different weapons or option parts or extra armor onto this and it just really has this utilitarian look to it so it's pretty cool in that sense it's kind of unique as a lot of the other frame arms girls and frame arms kits are kind of a lot more flashy in their design and just kind of have a really specialized look to this. I feel like you could give this a wide range of all sorts of different weapons and it could look pretty cool. You could even build a team of these, I don't know, maybe even combine them. It would be pretty cool to have like a combination of a couple of just Frame Arms Go Ride kits and then maybe one Frame Arms girl set in there as sort of like the leader of a squadron of mechas. It could be a cool kind of diorama idea, I guess. But anyway, it's a fun kit and surely seems to be an improvement over the original version of the Goraikai. While not being a lot of heavy improvements, it does give you some nice new option parts and just some new parts and nice new bits to work with with this that do just make slight improvements over the original. So if you're looking to pick one of these up, I would say obviously go for the version 2. So what do you guys think of the kits? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you have any other further questions, of course, feel free to leave those down there as well. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.